seem like nobody can be on time these days. Now where's she at? Mm -mm. I'm glad sorry. you can make I'm it. Late. Yeah. Oh, 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 you give good you hugs. Good, too. good. Oh my goodness. My right breast thanks you. That was a good oh, hug. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. You know, I wanted to wear the right ensemble for you. That dress is definitely hugging you, right? You look good. <laughs> well, thank you I'm very much. I'm thinking the natural look too. Oh, look thank you. Good. Thank you. You know, I'm here in your hometown of Atlanta, mm -hmm. and I just wanted my natural hair to be out, mm -hmm. and you're appreciating it. I definitely am. You're definitely a natural. I'm not it's seeing any good. lace. No, no, no lace here. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing, nothing, this is all real that. deal. It's all real. You can run your fingers through it. And I will. Just, I'm not turning that. Ooh, it's soft. It's soft. Juices and berries. When you throw water on that, that thing just lock up and just curl. Like, oh, some, some, now some, give me that scruff yeah. now, because you know I'll keep reaching for the hair. I'll keep now, going. Don't start touching all you know what I'm saying. Don't do nothing. Don't start nothing you can't finish. Well, scrap, love is my favorite topic. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. And the why? Fact, well, because the heart might have a really big heart. I'm a hopeless romantic. Oh, My sucks. heart has been broken so many times, but yet I keep going and going and going. How many times has your heart been broken? That count and matter that I give a about? Probably three times. Hmm. You've had two really big, high-profile relationships play out on reality television. Mm -hmm. So because there was so much energy and focus on your relationship, right. do you think that that was hard on the relationship to just have that much of being being public. Yes, I think it definitely played a toll on the way to toll on due to the fact of you know some people act different when camera is on and when cameras is off. You know right. what I'm saying? Me personally, I was you know the same the whole way throughout the ordeal. But um, mm -hmm. you know people change. Did the attention? hurt the relationship, to have so many eyes on you and just checking what you're doing and minding your business. See, that's the thing about when you go public with a relationship, mm -hmm. sometimes those eyeballs are just chiming in and putting their energy in places where it doesn't belong. Like, did that hurt you? I think definitely it, it affects it due to yeah. the fact, you know, even with just social media now, so oh, pretty gosh. much everything, oh, all goodness. your public, private business is public. And so mm -hmm. now, for some reason, everybody has an opinion oh, or yeah. what they think or, you know, what they think is going on in a relationship. And when they're not in there, yeah. they can't tell you how to maneuver what's really going on. And sometimes when people focus on what other people think, it, aff it affects us. During your time on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, you were connected to some very beautiful women. I a few. Don't do that now. Several. Don't do that now. Beautiful women. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that now. All well, right. you know I have to ask you this. Do you see yourself settling down with just one woman, or do you feel like you want to be free? Um, well, just coming home from prison, I, uh, I am appreciating this freedom right now. I bet you are. But, uh, I definitely see myself settling down. Ideally, I want to be with, to be honest, I want to have multiple wives, but that's a whole nother story. Polygamy! I was watching the show on it this morning. I oh. thought it was fascinating. So what's your outlook on that? Let me hear what you think about it. I felt like if I met a guy that wanted to be polygamous, I would just remind him that my vagina is big enough to make him feel like he's with five women at the same time. Wow. Like, I'm so much woman, basically, uh, that he would meet. What do meet. you mean by big enough? Um, just because it, it has several different names. Give like, it's one. not loose or give, anything like that. It's just that she has... <laughs> well, you have to scratch the kitten to get those names. They don't just come out, you know. So now you're telling me you have a itch that needs scratching. <laughs> well, of course every woman does. So you have, like, alter egos. I do. She does. Y'all do. Yeah, we do. Okay. Right. Don't y'all? Um, we're not talking about me and him right now. We're talking about okay. you and them. <laughs> right. Well, let me ask you this. What are you looking for in your women? Like, what would your wives have to okay. have? This is an easy question. I want my woman to be smart, mm -hmm. ambitious. Um, I want her to have, you know, motherly qualities, um, understanding, and strong. Okay. You know, of course, I love beautiful women, but you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But um, for the most part, I want a partnership. Oh, you know nice. What I'm saying? Because 
anything I do, I want to build, I want to have a foundation, I want to do it together. Whether it's with my first wife, second wife, whomever it may be, we we'll just stick mm -hmm. to one right now. But I want us to be able to know how to work together and just do things as a team. Mm. You understand? What's the craziest thing anyone's asked you about your religion? Um, are all of us terrorists? People ask you that? They have the audacity to ask you something like that? It wasn't that? like um, someone uh, being antagonizing. It was really a truthful question. Like, it was, what leads you all to do that? Like, we all abide by that. Oh, my but goodness. But we don't. You know, that is something that is extremely radical and extreme, mm -hmm. you know? When I think of Muslim, I don't, Muslim, muslim anity. No, when I think, Islam. When I think of the nation of Islam. No, 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 not the nation, just Islam. Islam, okay, I could just say that? Just Islam. So when I think of Islam, exactly. I don't compute it, or compute it, equate it to terrorism. Well, I don't think this brunch will be enough for us to really sit down and get into the difference of what you <laughs> okay. know and what it actually is, but you know, that's conversation for another time. Mm. But Muslims were definitely peaceful. So you wouldn't mind having brunch with me a second time and breaking me off on some Muslim stuff, culture. Breaking you, see, you gotta choose your words really carefully. You're talking about breaking you off some Muslim stuff. Yeah. I have to say, this looks so good. I love French toast. I love waffles. This look like um, banana nut French toast. It see. looks like it. Yeah, that's... Oh, there's definitely bananas all up and through that French toast. Yeah, there. You better eat it. You better eat it right, too. All right. Yes, Mom. Mm -hmm. And eat it right? I keep telling your words. <laughs> you see, the, the, your terminology. I don't know where you get your little vocabulary, where you're getting it from. This is why I'm the HBIC, Scrap. I'm trying to tell you. Now, Scrap, I know that you're a musician, obviously. And How you, you do, know that? Because I know your stuff. But I had no clue that you, know you were... my stuff? I know your stuff very well. I had no clue that you started out really, really young, though. You've been making music, like, since you were a kid, and you were in a rap group called the... Um, the Rascals. The Rascals Crew, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. How is it for you to make a transition from being, like, a child star into an adult artist? Like, is that difficult? Um, most definitely. Is you know, it? Because Why? sometimes people always see you in that light, mm. but... It actually kind of like worked out in my favor due to the fact we weren't all the way out. Mm -hmm. If you follow what I'm saying, we never released the album. No, but I saw y'all on All That, which oh, yeah, was well, one of my favorite shows back in the day. Back, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So you had some notoriety. No, we, we had we had a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, it, it's definitely a hard transition because, like I said, you know, sometimes only view you in that light mm -hmm. as a kid, you know. So, but now that I'm uh. uh full-grown male and an adult. You know, I got just different stuff to offer. Absolutely. And I've been through so much in my life from the duration of when I was a kid mm -hmm. to where I'm at now, so. Wow. And would you say that the current music that you're working on now tells a whole different story than it did back in the day? Yeah, most definitely, because when I was 13 and 14, I hadn't been through anything. Mm -hmm. But now I'm where I'm at now. I done had children. Oh, yeah. I've been to prison. I've experienced being in the streets and, you know, just mm -hmm. life. I've experienced life, so. Yeah. So we're getting a taste of the full man scrap right here. A taste of the full man. I don't know if I'm just taking the stuff in the wrong way. Or you just really putting it together like that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it might be me. So, you know, correct me if... Is it me? It's, it's the both of us. Okay, over, it's the both of us. Oh, my goodness. My mouth is getting it so take, moist right now. No, that one wasn't me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that one was All right. Me. That's going to be a good thing, though. Mm, it is. This is really good. And you know what's so funny about it? If you want a bite, you can have some. This doesn't even need syrup. Like, it's just good plain. Are we talking about the waffle? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we're talking about the waffle. I'm talking about the part you said, if I want to bite, I can have some. Oh, you definitely can have it all. Just take it. It's for the taking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, right, you better... Hey, right, listen, I ain't, this going to be the last time I'm going to tell you this. Okay. Don't bark up this tree, all right? Oh, I might have to. All okay, right. let me be good. All right, I'm trying to tell you, and I'm serious. I know you are. I can just smell the testosterone, honey. Well, we're excited for 
your new music okay. and the direction that you're going and the message that you're sending out. Scrap. Most definitely. For sure. Just to be like some inspiration to the people, especially mm -hmm. people that's coming from where I just came from. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, don't count yourself out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we hold a place in society too, regardless to our past. Absolutely. So, and know. we could use a lot of that because some people may have not been in the pen, but they're imprisoned by the mind. And that's worse than being in the pen. Come on now. Because you can be anywhere and be mentally trapped. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's uh, sorry, sorry for you if you are like that. Yes. You know it's all about setting it free. Most definitely. Do you walk around in the nude anytime? And you're... What's up? Because <laughs> we're saying just set it free. So I was just like thinking just freedom. You know what I mean? Because I used to work on a nudist co colony, you know? Right. Yeah. I did an episode there. Okay. I mean, you know, sometimes, not all the time. It's not, yeah. you know, I do have children, so I just don't walk around in the nude. Oh, well, of course not. Well, <laughs> sorry. What you thinking about now? No, I'm just saying. Me walking around in the nude? Probably. Uh. I don't know why I do this to myself. You do what to yourself? <laughs> You're worse than I am. I'm just saying it's the <laughs> words you choosing to use. Let me sip my tea or lemonade. Whatever. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have some coffee. So Scrap, music is not the only thing on the menu because I read that you're actually getting ready to open up your own restaurant, it seafood actually, and things. Most definitely. What? It actually just opened. Oh um, uh, it's open? It's open. Oh my goodness, that's yep. awesome, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I worked hard on it. Mm -hmm. First thing I got to when I came home. Have you always been passionate about food and cooking? Uh, I'm a really good cook myself, you know. I know how to cook, and I used to want to go to school for culinary arts, but then I got tired of cooking other stuff. <laughs> Ladies, are y'all understand that this man knows how to cook? Real good. Oh my goodness, tell me what's your favorite dish? I love breakfast food. That's yeah. my, I love breakfast food, but um, I make really good oxtails. Um, I make a really good lasagna. Oh, wow. Um, lobster. Mm -hmm. uh, lobster tacos. I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, you know, I know my way around the kitchen. Can I tell you something? I've always wanted to try oxtails, because I hear about them all the time. Oh, and no, a lot never of, had oxtail? I, th that's what I'm saying. This is so wrong. Like, it's an injustice, the fact I've yeah, never had an oxtail. Exactly. Yeah, your taste buds are really not feeling you. Scrap, would you ever make me some oxtails? Yeah, sure. Uh, don't play with me now! Okay. You really gonna make me some okay. oxtails? Because yeah. I want them. Yeah, breakfast or lunch, you know, you want oxtails for breakfast or lunch or mm -hmm. dinner. I would have it for uh, brunch. Brunch again? Can we do another brunch? We could do another brunch and it'll be oxtails next time. I love it. You know what? I'm still kind of hungry. Can mm. you go cook for me now? Like right now? Yeah, I want them oxtails, boy. You got my mouth salivating. Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come here, let me feel that hair again. One more time. Ooh. Juices and Just berries. Just like wool. Juices and berries. <laughs> I love That's it. all it is. <laughs> the original HBIC. Make sure you subscribe now to the VH1 YouTube channel so you never miss an episode of Brunch with Tiffany.